Hey guys, it's officially 2022 and I wanted to say Happy Luna New Year. As you know, Far East was celebrating Luna New Year last week. These boxes are from my latest Christmas tree. I took it down a few weeks ago. I wanted to give some DIY ideas later in this video. But first I would like to talk about the all ornaments that I got so far. I'll start from the ones from latest Christmas tree. Here they are. They're already packed and if you would like to know they are from Walmart and Hobby Lobby. And the ones in the vase I don't know yet what to do with them but I will be figuring it out during this video. As you can see I got boxes ready and I will be packing the ornaments. The boxes look a little bit festive. The first ornament is from Belarus. It's a gift from my friend. She brought it for me and I believe it's from Monastery. It's a glass handmade piece, real glass, and it's still in its original package. I never used it yet. Next ornaments are DIY. They are bows. I had that golden thread that I used and also I got from the store a golden ribbon and it has wires at the end. I don't know if you can see but you can easily fit them the way you want and then hang them on your Christmas tree. These ornaments I have from a few years ago. They've been sitting in the box but maybe I will use them again. This beautiful gift is from my friend from Asesha, where I'm from, and she made it herself from, I believe, plaster. Very beautiful. Gifts from Turkmenistan, where David is from. They are both handmade, and this one is a ship, and it's made with those red beads. As you can see and the other one first I thought it was a deer but then I thought it doesn't have horns then I thought maybe it's a wolf but it that tail I don't know if it looks right whatever you'd like to call it anyway isn't he a handsome guy ornament that you already seen at the beginning of the video me and David wanted during the elephant party a few years ago this ornament is a gift from my co-worker to me it looks a hummingbird snowman from San Francisco and the other guy is Santa. It is also from San Francisco. And actually, let me turn it on. There is a light. I thought to show you this cable car. It's also from San Francisco, as you can guess. It's really nice, I think, for holidays, even though it's not a gift nor it's an ornament. These ornaments I've been having for a few years now and before they were in a plastic bag so I decided to put them in the box. These ornaments I've been having for a few years as well and the box is really outdated. I thought to recycle it and to put the ornaments into the boxes.
Remember the white ornaments from the vase? I decided to put them into the blue box as well. I found these ornaments, I believe they are from a few years ago, I bought them in a dollar store and since I had some room left in the box I thought to put them there as well. The boxes are ready and the pack I'm gonna show you is uh, from San Francisco. I believe it was a sale at Walgreens. I wanted to show you each ornament, the variety that the pack has and also some DIY. Here is a DIY made of icicles and uh, snowflake. I used golden thread again and hung icicles on a snowflake. And also for the snowflake I used more of a golden thread so I could hang the whole one piece. I was able to hang it on the chandelier. I'd like to show you more of my DIY ornaments. These are going to be natural ones. You probably all remember this famous vase filler you can get, I think, anywhere. This is a threshold and I believe I got it from Target a few years ago. I'm going to show you a few of the ornaments. You probably noticed the jute that I used in my previous box of DIY ornaments. This is going to be also with the use of jute and pine cones only. I bought these pine cones at Michael's and they smell also. I'd like to show you now my own made mostly macrame ornaments. This is a wreath, but it can be used also as an ornament on your door handle for example.
ornament made of white cotton cord and beads just like the red has white cotton macrame tree with beads and wooden ring cotton macrame star smaller one and a larger star white as well snowflake made of cotton white yarn not cord in this case then the other one i'm going to show you is made of macrame cord and this is a smaller version of snowflake and the last one will be the largest one and it's made of macrame cord as well and here it has a metal ring inside not wooden all of my ornaments can be purchased at my Etsy shop and I will leave you a link below in the description. This is a Christmas tree and this is a cream color cotton yarn and it has a wooden ring. Next one will be Christmas tree again but it's a smaller version of it like a baby tree with wooden ring as well. Cream color star this is made of cotton yarn and it has beads at the ends. I also have a video about how to make a star. Another star, smaller one, and it has simple closings. I close this star differently at the ends. As you can see, there are no beads, no simple closings. I think I have a video also on that. I will leave you a link in the description. One of my favorite ornaments I've made myself and here I used bells, jute and beads. It's totally different from the rest that you've seen so far. I really like how it came out. It would be the last one as for my own made ornaments. As I promised at the end of the video I wanted to share with you some DIY ideas. These boxes are free to get and they are from USPS. They are priority boxes. This one is the small size, then underneath it is the larger size and also middle size of the priority boxes. It has a ribbon. I got two white ribbons, white and silver. Also I got paper, wrapping paper, silver and white as well. And then I wrapped all of the boxes. You can really play with them however you want. Then I used another ribbon which is narrow for small boxes and it is sheer silver ribbon. Also for the other small box I used very narrow white ribbon. I hope this video was interesting and helpful for you. If you guys liked it, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!